GD rating system uh, plugin interface uh, looks like this. This is the first uh, uh, panel where you can see uh, links to all other panels and you have it uh, also in the WordPress navigation menu on the left side. Let's go from the first one. Here you will find some basic information about the plugin. Change log, list of translations, none right now. A list of used resources, images and font icons and uh, something more about DevPress plugins. Uh, main uh, settings uh, plugin, uh, main, main settings panel uh, contains a lot of options and most of them depend on the add-ons and uh, rating methods you have uh, active. And uh, the first panel that is very important here is extensions. All rating methods and add-ons are listed here and you can enable and disable them from here. If you disable some of the add-ons, uh, their settings panels will be gone too. This way you can minimize the uh, memory used by the plugin if you don't activate plugins, you, uh, you, if you don't activate add-ons you don't need. Uh, there are some global settings here to use NANS protection. This is useful for uh, validating the validity of each request, but uh, this will not work if you have uh, some cache plugins with long cache periods because uh, NANS expires after 12 hours. So if your cache plugin uh, uses some longer time period, you should disable this. Uh, there are some other options you can check out here and uh, most important is for ratings, uh, saving ratings for anonymous users, that's uh, users that are not logged in and there are a few different ways you can validate uh, uh, such uh, votes. Administration panel right now has only one option to remove uh, from log. Uh, this will add or remove option to remove uh, any item from vote log without affecting uh, overall ratings. Right now you only have delete option that will uh, uh, recalculate each uh, rating uh, after the vote is deleted. Removal uh, will not uh, do that. Uh, advanced settings contain options to disable voting, uh, voting and to enable uh, maintenance mode. This is practically the same thing. The, uh, both of them will disable voting but they will display different messages so you can differentiate between that. Uh, next we have uh, stars rating method and here are the basic default settings for this method uh, and you can select uh, from wide uh, range of options. Similar goes for stars review method and thumbs rating. Next we have integration with posts. This will automatically add uh, a rating block in uh, post pages or other custom post types that you might have and you can select place for the rating block and which rating method to embed. Similar thing is done with comments. Next are rich snippets. Uh, you have a separate video on this but here you can set up video, uh, you can set up uh, rules for generating rich snippets for posts and other post types. Uh, support for, for um, WordPress REST AIP uh, is controlled here, but uh, the only setting you need here is to change endpoint if you want. Help panel for this contains list of all uh, included endpoints at this time. Dummy data is a very useful add-on to generate uh, dummy uh, ratings for posts with low ratings count and uh, uh, 
there is also a video about this add-on. Admin Enhancer is a add-on that will add some elements into WordPress for uh, better integration with rating plugin. Right now that is only rating menu in uh, here with some with list of all uh, uh, plugin panels here. Finally, geolocation is a very useful add-on that can uh, show you where each vote has come from and it has option to show count country flags inside the rating log. We will see that later. Uh, next uh, panel we'll skip for now. Uh, we'll go straight to transfer data. If you use some of these plugins, starting with GD Star Rating, this is a uh, old rating plugin made by Defo Press, and uh, you can import data from this plugin. Uh, then we have WordPress Post Ratings and yet another Star Rating plugin. Uh, right now this demo doesn't have uh, all data so as you can see import is not possible but you should be very careful to read the instructions about uh, about the rating process and select uh, properly data you want to import because for the star rating you can import uh, uh, star ratings, star reviews and thumb ratings from old plugin. Similar information is available for other two import methods and uh, uh, the import is uh, very easy to, to perform but uh, you should make sure to test it uh, uh, to make sure that everything is transferred uh, as it should be. Next panel is some information uh, the right now showing list of templates and status of the database tables. List of templates will show you every template currently loaded by the uh, plugin and uh, this, uh, uh, this is useful if you need to get uh, names of templates for use in functions or uh, with your short codes. Database status shows currently how many records and size of tables are in the database. Tools panel has very useful options to recheck and update uh, templates, uh, tables and uh, plugin settings. If you made some changes to templates just visit this page and it will scan for new templates quick and easy. Option to recalculate data currently works for star ratings. Uh, time rating recalculation will be added soon uh, and you can uh, select what you need recalculated. It uses uh, uh, background process to uh, do recalculations and the uh, recalculation is based on the votes log. So if you delete the things from votes log then uh, uh, that will affect final rating results. So make sure uh, that your log is uh, accurate and you don't delete data from it um, uh, all the time, leave it as it is. You can export all plugin settings into text file, you can import settings from text file and you can reset and remove plugin completely. This means you can remove settings tables and you can disable plugin after that. Uh, rating items shows all registered rating items for all types of entities and types. So here is post type post and here is the item itself. It's with ID20 it's called short codes test. That's the uh, page we have here or post I'm not sure and some important link, uh, links to show log only for this post to uh, visit the page and remove it completely. This will show you information before you continue. If you use this it will remove all ratings associated with this rating item. And you can see, uh, see it inside your, uh, with, uh, you, see, you can see this item returned as, as uh, REST AIP 
result if you uh, enable this add-on. Also, you can see ratings for each rating type listed here. You can also remove only that type of rating if you want uh, from here directly. Uh, this is a filter to show items that are rated or unrated. By default, it shows only rated items. You can filter by date and uh, type. A log shows every vote recorded and uh, you can also filter it by different criteria. Here is the IP. Uh, this is the IP where the vote, vote has come from. Uh, right now all votes are from local hosts so you cannot see flags here from different countries. And if this is a not local host you will see options to see uh, information about each IP. Uh, that uh, that can be pulled from the internet, uh, geolocation and who is. Uh, also you see rating methods, uh, which action uh, has taken uh, place here, vote or revote, so if a change, if user change votes that will be displayed differently. If a vote is no longer active, it will have this red mark, if it is active and used in uh, active rating, it will be green. Finally, a rules panel is a very powerful tool that will allow you to change uh, rating uh, settings for add-ons and uh, rating methods based on the rating type. So, practically we can set a rule like, like this. Uh, settings for dummy data add-on for all comments. And you can see that it looks similar uh, in fact exactly as the dummy data global ratings but this will be applied only to comments and you can enable or remove this uh, rule. Similar to that you can add uh, to posts specific uh, settings for stars ratings so you can change resolution number of stars all the things like that here and this rule will be applied only to posts. You can see a list of rules here and you can edit or remove each rule uh, directly. So practically this is expansion of the main settings panel with the difference that you can uh, assign settings based on the item type and uh, you can select which uh, add-on or method you want to modify for them only. Uh, plugin also includes a number of widgets and uh, all widgets are listed here. You can add a widget like this. All widgets have a similar look and uh, they are very easy to uh, use so nothing special to, to note here. Uh, number of widgets depend on number of rating methods you have active so each rating method has two widgets uh, to display rating block or rating list. Uh, rating list allows you to uh, filter by type, limit number of posts, set minimal rating and minimal votes and order by rating item uh, ID or some other thing. And you can control template and other things related to display of rating blocks inside the rating list.